Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Justin from Dirty Laundry and welcome back. And today, for the next couple of days, I'm going to be playing Shovel Knight. Uh, this is one of my favorite games of last year, and it is by Yacht Club Games. And this is like a 2D platformer, sort of inspired by like Mega Man and, and DuckTales and uh, Castle... Not, not Castlevania, that, would, that wouldn't make any sense. But uh, it's that type of game, it's a platformer. So there you go. Without further ado, let's just freaking get into this. No introductions needed if you haven't heard of this game, you've been living under a rock. So, let's just get into it. Start game. Now, I haven't played this game in a while. Um, it's been probably like a couple months, so I might be a little rusty. I'm going to have to uh, get used to it again, but let's just make it steam. Now, the story really isn't that important. Shield Knight gets, like, captured. Um, or, I don't, I don't remember. Is it captured or is it killed? Well, I guess we'll find out now. <laughs> I really don't remember. So long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventurers. So Shovel Knight is obviously the one with the freaking shovel. Of all heroes, none shone brighter than Shovel Knight and Shield Knight. But their travels together ended at the Tower of Fate when a cursed amulet wrought a terrible magic. When Shovel Knight awoke, the tower was sealed and Shield Knight was gone, so she was captured. She wasn't killed. His spirit broken, a grieving Shovel Knight went into a life of solitude. <clears throat> but without champions, the land was seized by a vile power, the Enchantress and her Order of No Quarter. Now this is where the Mega Man comes in. Kind of like the eight robot masters, you gotta fight the eight order of no quarter, or seven, I don't remember. Now the tower is unsealed and devastation looms. A new adventure is about to begin. Alright, let's let's get into this shit, boy. My boy Shovel Knight. Sharpen thy shovel, you guys ready? Now like I said, this is one of my favorite games from last year. Um, I think it came out in 2014 on Wii U and PC. I could be very wrong about that, but you're noticing the two main mechanics. So this mechanic would be, it's just your square button. I'm playing on PS4, by the way. Um, it's just a normal attack, and then when you jump and hit down, um, you pogo off. And that's going to be used a lot in this game. And there's secrets and shit like that. Um, there's actually a lot of secrets hidden in the game. Okay, hold on, this, this is going to take me a minute to get used to again. Uh, we just recorded a Let's Play with Tom, who you have met and already, and uh, so I'm used to watching Meat Boy and how fast that is, and it's a little slower, <clears throat> this game, but um, whatever. So, usually I, I play it a little bit faster, but since this is my first playthrough, I want to get like all the gold and shit like that, and find at least whatever secrets that I remember um, in the game already. But uh, see, so right now, these are checkpoints, right? So now when I die, I can come back to here. Now, there's a trophy in the game that you destroy all the checkpoints, but see, you can't destroy this one because it's the, it's like the first level and they don't allow you to destroy it. But for the rest of the game, you can destroy them. And then when you die, you obviously won't go back to that checkpoint because you destroy it. <laughs> but yeah, so this, uh, this game came out on PS4 and Xbox one in 2015, I believe. Yeah. 2015. It said, um, it was my game of the year last year. Um, except for Rocket League, so that was definitely my game of the year. That, The Witcher 3, Fallout 4, last year was a great, uh, year for games. Uh, so this is, you fight mini-bosses in a lot of the stages, so not really like Mega Man, because the only mini-bosses you really fight in Mega Man are, um, are Proto Men, but there's no Proto Man in this game, so. But yeah, it, it feels, if you know how to play an 8-bit platformer from the old NES era, you know how to play this game. It's it's very, it's not necessarily easy. It's definitely easier. There are definitely some hard parts, though, in the game that, like, might take me a little bit to get, like, to get through. But honestly, the game overall is pretty easy. Now, there's a lot of collectibles in the game, too. Um, there's, like, music uh, sheets, like that, right there. Um, and you collect those, and then 
if you collect them all, obviously it's a trophy and any normal, like any normal game would be. Uh, you could also trade them in for coins to, uh, I forgot, he's just some musician. I, I don't know, he's like a traveling musician or some shit like that. Obviously in these types of games, the story really doesn't matter. You can buy items, and so you see in the top where it says item, it's sort of like mana. Um, and you could buy items, and it uses mana, and you can get upgrades for your health and upgrades for all that other shit. So, it plays like a very minimal RPG also. Well, there's like RPG elements. It doesn't obviously play like one, but... Now, okay, I'll show you this too. In the harder difficult, in New Game Plus, when you beat the game, um, you unlock New Game Plus. This is obviously not New Game Plus, it's just a normal game. Uh, these will be bombs, but for the normal game, they're turkeys, and, uh, that's your health. So that's how you refill your health. Alright, let's actually go up here, because I don't even remember what that secret is. Oh, it's just one of those. <clears throat> You're gonna notice eventually I'm gonna start getting lazy, just not picking up money anymore. Because <laughs> honestly, the items, not every item is useful in the game. Like, a lot of them are, but not all of them. There are some of them that I'm just like, don't really understand why they're even there. I guess just, fuck. I guess just for variety. But, who knows. Alright, let's make this jump. I just gotta get used to the game again. I don't remember what's over here. Probably another music sheet, yeah. So there's two music sheets in the very first level, the training stage, as you will, if you will. Let's go back this way. You can unlock different armor types too, and like they'll have like different status effects and whatever. It's pretty cool. And PS4 has a has a level separate from the Xbox One version. The Xbox One, the same thing, vice versa. Um, the PS4 level is Kratos from God of War. If you guys have ever heard of that game, I hope you have. And then <clears throat> the um, the Xbox One version is uh, Duck not DuckTales, I'm sorry, Battletoads. There we go, I couldn't think of the fucking name of the game. <laughs> and let's go in this treasure chest, get some nice money again. Drop down, kill this bitch. Now I'll just hop off, actually I'll just go into the ladder. So I will not be destroying checkpoints, like I said, because I haven't played this game in a minute, so I'm, like, not gonna risk doing that shit. Kind of a pussy. Okay, here we go, and the first stage is almost done. Gotta fight one more of these mini-bosses. Oh god, I almost just jumped off there, that could've been really bad. There we go. Get the money and health that comes with that. Come here, let him walk off. Do this, take it slow. There you go. And Tom got this controller all sweaty. <laughs> Let's go here. There's a couple of tricks in this game too, which are fun. Like, like cool little game element designs and shit like that. Like you'll like destroy the cheat thing. Like, not the cheat thing. I, I'm getting like mixed up on my words for some reason. You'll, like, destroy the, uh, the secret walls, and then, like, they'll, uh, like, an enemy will be in there or something like that. You saw that before with the skeleton. And sometimes crates have little, uh, like, crabs in them that will, like, come out and, like, attack you. I don't know why I'm getting, like, mixed up on my words. I'm, like, trying to concentrate. Even though this is <laughs> the, literally the first level. And now we're going to fight Black Knight, which is <clears throat> your rival in this whole game. And he's pretty cool. Uh, he also loved Shield Knight. I believe. I think that's how the story goes. But his fights... His fight right now is pretty easy. His fight at the end is a little bit more difficult. But you can tell that he has less health. He shoots these things at you, too. So, like, he'll do that, and then he'll shoot this at you. You could shoot it back at him, and, and then he'll do that. On New Game Plus, he'll, uh, he'll actually shoot it. Like, he'll keep hitting it back. Let 
Yeah, New Game Plus, he'll, like, hit that back at you. It's really fucking annoying, honestly. There you go. He's got two more hits left. You can see his health in the top right of the screen. He's got one hit. There you go. Black Knight is done for now. He'll be back. There we go. You see my gold in the top left corner. 4762. And he scurries off to do his little bullshit things. Now. So now there are dream sequences in this game where you could rack up a ton of gold. And uh, they're not really that difficult. Obviously we're at the beginning of the game, so <clears throat> it's going to be decently easy. But uh, you pretty much just have to catch Shield Knight. And enemies will spawn, and then like you can just rack up gold here. It's pretty much just free money. So, like, the game does things to, uh... I wonder what happens if you drop her. Which I'm gonna find out now. I don't know. Um, I don't know if I dropped her or not. Who knows? Uh, quick tip. Uh, put out the campfire. You'll get some money. And you see feat accomplished only you. Only you can prevent forest fires. Smokey the bear. Alright, now the world map. So this is where Mario comes in. Um, particularly like Mario 3 and Mario World and then obviously all the other ones. So now this is the, there's a town, the village. So you can go here and talk to everybody. You don't have to do anything. Um, there's a music note. This is the guy you could sell, uh, the music sheets to. So selling them both and he could play them for you if you want. You could talk to everybody in the town. You don't have to. I'm not going to. This guy, uh. You can buy a meal ticket, which I will do. And then um, <clears throat> you can give it to this dude. Right here, he's jumping up like a fairy. And uh, he'll get you some food, and this will permanently um, increase your health. So he'll give you that golden platter. Take it, permanently increase. Now, you could do the same thing with magic. I'm just going to buy... Oh, I don't, do I not have enough money? Oh, no, I do. Okay, so I'm just going to buy all of... Uh, the meal tickets I can get right now. But I'm not going to be able to afford it anymore, so. Okay, so now I have two extra bars of health. Give me those ribs. Alright, we could go down here. There's a... There's like a, a person who dances down here. Um, when you do something specific. I don't even remember what it is. But it's really fucking funny, honestly. God, I don't know what this guy's talking about. Um... Yeah, there's in here. Uh, you could do, like, training shit in here. Don't ask me really what it even does. Did I just spend gold? Yeah, I did. What an idiot. I'm really, like, not even sure why, like, you're supposed to do this shit. We're well, not supposed to. You could do it if you want. You could tell it's a secret. Um, I don't know. But one thing about this game, though, that is so impressive and has pretty much been impressive to everybody since the game came out is the, in the music in the game the music is used they used an old chipset from the nes to make the music and it is absolutely fantastic like it is really just so good and it's just so reminiscent and nostalgic of like the games that like most of us grew up with it is it's so fucking good like this soundtrack is one of my favorite soundtracks like in recent history of video games I don't know what I just did, but, uh, got 59 points. It's not good, apparently. Alright, fuck you, Mona. Alright. Uh, you go in here. Oh, okay, here's a funny one. So, this... Is this the one who dances? No. No, I don't think that's the one who dances. Buy. What, what can I buy? Oh, yeah. Okay. Th that shit's kind of stupid sometimes. Now, this guy right here, his name is Chester because he's in control of all the chests. <laughs> so, <clears throat> we'll talk to him. And you can buy shit from him. So now, the fishing rod is whatever. The chaos, the chaos sphere is whatever. In the first level, King Knight stage, um, and everybody ends in a knight, just like Mega Man, everything ends in a man. So, like, Spark Man, Heat Man... Those all end in mans, these all end in knights. So, King Knight is the first stage you're going to go to, and you can find Chester in a secret room, and you get this rod that shoots out, like, a flame. 
like a like a flame ball, fireball, can't think of that fucking word. Uh, and that's pretty much like the most useful item. Now, here there's a trophy for bouncing on this girl's thing, like for like three seconds or something like that. Uh, you could you could <laughs> jump on her. It's kind of funny. Um, now there's a music note up there. Now, in order to get that. Whoops, that was an accident. You need to get her to go this way. And then you can jump up here, and then jump up here. Get this. Whoops. Get this chest. And that's it. Alright, this is the town. I'm not going to bore you anymore with this shit, even though we went through the whole thing. Like I said, I wasn't going to do. Now. See, now before I wasn't able to move, now I can move. So King Knight stage is the first stage we're going to. <clears throat> and we're going to sharpen Knight Shovel again. And we're going to go. Now... This is one of the easiest stages in the game, obviously, since the very beginning. The stages actually do get more difficult, and they play with a bunch of different gimmicks, like lighting gimmicks and things like that. And obviously, there's an underwater section, like there is in every platformer. Oh, I forgot about those guys. I don't have... I'm not doing a great showing at the moment. I'll get better as we go along. Don't you worry. So we'll wait for that. To do this. Come here. Get those. Jump... Oh, whoops. Jump up here. Like I said, I'm used to seeing Meat Boy. So, like, I'm thinking of that I'm going to go faster than I'm actually going. Okay, now these guys will be the bane of your existence. They are so irritating sometimes. Um, they're easy now, but when you're platforming and they're, like, in the way and shit and you can't, like, pogo off them, they are very frustrating. Now, the same thing, you can hit these, these uh, fireballs back. God, I missed like an idiot. So you could do that. It's not really necessary. You just kill these guys easy. Get that money. Okay, now, remember, I don't have any items yet because I chose to spend it on health, which is useful. See, now, look, watch, I'll show you. Because I'm not going to need this checkpoint, and I hope I die now that I just said that. So you can break this and now for money. And now when I spawn, if I die right now, I'll go back to the beginning of the stage. Really, the only reason to do that is for trophies and achievements, but it'll make it a little bit more challenging. Like I said, I'm not going to do that throughout the game. You kind of have to, like, juke these guys out, like, jump up and then hit them from the side. Whoops. There you go. The only problem I really have with this game is there's a lot of palette swapping. Which means that there's a lot of enemies and stages that are the exact same. Like, the exact same design, the exact same art, except they're just in a different color. Which is a lot in old school NES games. I, I, I get it. I get why, like, that happens. But, uh, I don't know, it's kind of a... It's a little annoying sometimes seeing the same enemies over and over again. But then again, it's just a minor complaint because I think this game's a perfect 10. Now, here's what I was talking about with Chester. Now, this is a secret area here. Okay, so you have to go here. Oh, shit, I just screwed that up. There we go. Now you just align yourself in here, and you'll flip. And you'll end up in here. And now, just platform across these. Do this, and out pops Chester. And now he will give you... Oh, no, you have to buy it still? Okay, well, the flare wand, okay. So I will buy that. Now you hit up and square. Now I'll show you, it just does that. It just shoots a straight fireball. But it is very useful. Very useful. Now, let's do this reverse. Let's just wait just in case. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> like I said, I hope I would die. Well, I guess this is the thing that's cool. So when you die, you go back to this checkpoint, right? But, um, all you lose is money. You have an unlimited amount of lives. Um, so you have an unlimited amount of lives, and all you lose is money. So, you see, so, like, now I can go there and get my money back. I'm not going to. Because, literally, this is really all I need. I just need to buy more health things, but I'll... <laughs> money is plenty in this game, trust me. There's no, uh... There's definitely not a... Uh, I can't think of the word. Whatever. There's not a drought of money. There you go. I just used a different word. I'll get some health back. Go here. Now, I'll just use this to show it off. 
It's kind of weak, but it's definitely useful. I don't actually really remember what's over here. This might be completely pointless, but we'll just go up here. See, now I also only have 10 mana left, as you can see. So. Yep, more secrets. Now, I just know this because I played the game, but there's like a little square. There was like a little square over there where you can see, uh, like, where you can break it. So now, if I do this, I'm missing this checkpoint, okay? But since I don't, I am not confident in myself whatsoever, I will not miss the checkpoint. <laughs> I will go to it because I already died on King Knight stage, and that should not happen. Now, these guys are annoying. I don't really remember their pattern at all, these, like, phoenix-type things. Oh god, I died again. See, it's a good thing I got that checkpoint. This is embarrassing. Actually, the amount of times that I've died here, because that seriously doesn't happen. Like, I know this game decently well. I don't know it, like, amazingly well, but I know it pretty decent. I just forgot. I kind of want that. Okay, now we'll stand here again. There you go. See, like, it's spots like this that you gotta remember, but I just didn't remember them. And then that claw, when he does that, he will attack you. Like, that will hit you, full health. Okay, now. Let's see, this is what I was talking about with the platformer. Let's just, with the platforming parts, let's just get these guys out of the way. And now I, you could do this, which is, ah, oh, I missed it. So you can do this and get, go up here for another secret. See, this game is full of secrets. get some money over here now now this is what I was talking about see that little square right there to the right let's see if I can break this one nope ah oh, that, that was shitty okay let's do this let's get this chest Get all the money. See, I already have another 2,300 gold, so. Oh, God. Okay, now we're cruising. Gotta go back the way we came. It's a little annoying. And sometimes when you hit people with the shovel, you bounce back depending on the enemy type. So that is definitely something to keep in mind full health again. Okay, so now we'll do this, we'll jump off there, get this, now when you come down here, jump immediately, like that, because, uh, I always do that, I always think there's a secret there, because I feel like there should be, but there's not. Okay, now one of these guys again. Just move, try and move him over a little bit. go always pretty much just go around smacking walls that's what i do this game has such a charm to it though it really does like and now this is gonna this is especially prominent in the last stage but uh this is huge like this is a big part of the game so you bounce off these books and then these appear but they're timed in order to reset the time you need to bounce off these you need to keep bouncing off the book so like this and now it'll reset itself So, doing this again, cruising along. Whoops, that was close. And when that happens, when you get hit, you need to reset yourself. You need to reset the pogo. So just remember to do that, because otherwise you'll fall through. I just want full health. I don't need any of the other stuff. Okay, now we gotta fight one of these phoenix things one more time. Or whatever these things are called. Just do this. Go back here. Avoid that. There we go. He's dead. And I believe we're fighting King Knight. Yep. One last checkpoint. More reminiscence of Mega Man. Now we're going to fight King Knight. Now, I've almost... I've only gotten hit once on this fight. Like, a lot of times. Because I try and... Uh, 
I try and just not get hit from him because he's really not hard to like dodge. But like I said, I'm not a really like used to this game anymore. So now this is the annoying part because you have to dodge these things too. Yeah, see, there you go. That's that's usually where I get hit is right here with the confetti. Yeah, so you gotta jump when he does that, because otherwise he'll uh, he'll trap you in the floor, like like he did to me before. And there you go, that's King Knight. So now we have gold for beating him. Now one knight is down. Now we go. Now there aren't always dream sequences when you go to sleep at your campfire. Sometimes there are. Sometimes there aren't. When there are, just try and rack. Don't worry about getting hit. Just try and rack up as many uh, coins as possible. So there aren't, remember, well, you can prevent forest fires. 